My biggest passion in life would be to help my community. We need to recognize that we're all responsible for the future for each other. I was very passionate about Filipino cuisine because it's something that's very memorable to me. It's a special occasion to cook food. I was one of the Philippine prodigies in terms of the culinary world. I was training under different chefs in the leading restaurants in the country. The chef and the supplier and the farmers have a very special relationship. I understood the value chain finally of where my food came from and how it got to the table. A lot of the ingredients were not being supplied. A lot of suppliers were disappearing. And I was thinking what's happening to the farmers and what's happening to the food supply. Farmers were impoverished. So farmers, their goal would be to not be farmers. A lot of that is because they're not equipped with knowledge. There's a lot of middlemen in the way that take away a large part of the profit. The storm came and it was terrible, but it was also an opportunity to start fresh. The entire community started helping each other. We call it in the Philippines, We are always hit by typhoons and storms every single year, but that particular one was a really bad one because it affected every single person in every community. Whatever they were farming, it was all destroyed. We found that the cacao trees were the only ones that weren't tumbled over. I've always loved chocolate, but what if we can enjoy chocolate knowing that it can benefit both people and planet? Cacao is a really profitable crop. In fact, the supply is slowly dropping because of climate change and peace and security issues. It's much more disaster resilient. It's better suited to our climate. Some people already have it, but they don't know how to cultivate that. So you can see here that there's a lot of rotting cacao pods, and that's simply because it doesn't get enough sunlight. Sad to see these produce go to waste, and that's what we're here to change. When we started the cacao project, a lot of them were quite skeptical. It was a gradual process of opening them up. I took them to a training program and I taught them about the cacao and showed them how much they could earn from it, the process of doing it, and then eventually I was giving away the cacao seedlings and then it started to grow and people got interested in it. It really renewed their perspective of farming. Sometimes you'll see them posting it on social media that, oh, this is the stage of growth already, these are the flowers coming out. It's an impact on the community, it's flowering into something much more than we expected. Hopefully, one day, the farmers will no longer need the cacao project because they'll be so well off and they'll be so self-sustaining with what they're doing. I would really look forward to that day. Dare to feed the future. Dare to purchase sustainable produce. And dare to make your own sustainable produce.